Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Lee. You're watching Dark Roots Creations, and this is my June releases anticipated reads video. So today I was looking at what I had to do for videos coming up and I was like, oh, I didn't even do any research for this video yet. Started doing my research really quickly and immediately became super excited because two of the five ones on this list are very, very, very highly anticipated. So let's get into it. So first up is Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monacan. The ultimate summer nostalgia read about an engaged woman who comes face to face with her first love, who she hasn't seen in 14 years, but who she spent every summer with from age five to 17, when he broke her heart, calling into question everything she thought she knew about their love story and herself. Beach rolls. Do take long walks on the sand. Do put an umbrella in every cocktail. Do not run into your first love. Sam's life is on track. She has the perfect doctor fiance, Jack. His strict routines are a good thing, really. A great job in Manhattan, unless they fire her. And is about to tour a wedding venue near her family's Long Island beach house. Everything should go to plan, yet the minute she arrives, Sam senses something is off. Wyatt is here. Her Wyatt. But there's no reason for the 37-year-old engaged woman to feel panicked around the guy who broke her heart when she was 17, right? Yet being back at this beach, hearing notes from Wyatt's guitar float across the night air from the next door as if no time has passed, Sam's memories come flooding back. The feel of Wyatt's skin on hers, their nights in the treehouse, and the truth behind their split. Sam remembers who she used to be. And as Wyatt re-enters life, their connection is as undeniable as it always was. She will have to make a choice. So, sounds like a perfect beach read. I like that whole idea of coming back and running into your first love, a second chance romance. I feel bad for Jack because I feel like he's not going to get Sam in the end, but we'll see where it goes. This book is coming out on June 6th. Next up is The Bookshop by the Bay by Pamela Kelly. Two lifelong friends, one bookshop by the beach, and the summer that could change everything. Jess loves her work as a high profile lawyer in the respectable and austere city of Charleston. But when she finds her husband Parker has been cheating on her with his assistant, she retreats with her 32 year old daughter Caitlin for support to her childhood home on Cape Cod in Chatham. Caitlin has always been bright, but directionless, looking for her passion, but keeps coming up blank and just needs to regroup with the help of good food and wine with the company of her best friend, Allison, and come up with a plan for the future. Allison's career has hit a low. After 20 years as an editor of the Chatham Magazine, circulation is dwindling and though her boss and longtime friend Jim does everything to keep her, she has no choice but to take a step back. With a career on hiatus and her main relationship being with Chris, her ex-husband who is still a good friend. Allison is at a pivotal point in her life. Her daughter Julia opened her own artisanal jewelry shop a year prior, and she has the kind of day-to-day -day fulfillment Allison yearns for. When Allison stops into her beloved local bookstore one day and learns that the owner wants to sell, a long-held dream turns into a reality thanks to Jess. Allison and Jess set up a plan in motion and what was once a place that held a warm childhood memories is now theirs to run. As the two friends, along with the help of their daughters, reopen the doors of the cherished bookstore and adjacent coffee shop to the community they also open themselves up to the possibility of romance, the bonds of mothers and daughters, and the magic of second chances. This actually sounds perfect for right now. I love a beach read. I love a bookshop, love a coffee shop. 
and I don't know, maybe where I'm at in my life right now too. I don't have a daughter, but I have a mom and maybe this is something that would be like the perfect read for right now. This is also coming out on June 6th. Okay, next up, this will be no surprise to anybody if you've watched my channel at all. This is The Five Star Weekend by Ellen Hildebrand. After tragedy strikes, Hollis Shaw gathers four friends from different stages in her life to spend an unforgettable weekend on Nantucket. Hollis Shaw's life seems picture perfect. She's the creator of the popular food blog, Hungry with Hollis, and is married to Matthew, a dreamy heart surgeon. But after she and Matthew get into a heated argument one snowy morning, he leaves for the airport and is killed in a car accident. The cracks in Hollis's perfect life, her strange marriage and her complicated relationship with her daughter, Carolyn, grow deeper. So when Hollis hears about something called a five-star weekend, one woman organizes a trip for her best friends from each phase of her teenage years, her 20s, 30s, and midlife. She decides to host her own five-star weekend on Nantucket, but the weekend doesn't turn out to be a joyful Hallmark moment. The husband of Hollis's childhood friend Tatum arranges for Hollis's first love, Jack Finnegan, to spend time with them, stirring up old feelings. Meanwhile, Tatum is forced to play nice with abrasive and elitist Drew Ann, Hollis's best friend from UNC Chapel Hill. Drew Ann's career as a prominent Chicago sport agent is on the line after her comments about a client's mental health issue are misconstrued online. Brooke, Hollis's friend from their 30s, has just discovered that her husband is having an inappropriate relationship with a woman at work. Again. And then there's Gigi, a stranger to everyone, including Hollis, who reached out to Hollis through her blog. Gigi embodies an unusual grace and, as it happens, has many secrets. The Five Star Weekend is a surprising and captivating story about friendship, love, and self-discovery set on Nantucket. It will be a weekend like no other. I didn't even have to read the description. No matter what she's writing, you know I'm reading whatever Hel Ellen Hildebrand writes. So, I mean, can I get on a five-star weekend to Nantucket? Because this is definitely on my bucket list of things to do. I heard it rumored that she's, I don't know if this is the last year she's going to be writing or she's very close to retiring. So, you know, I'm just going to soak up anything that she reads, writes. Um, if she actually recommended a list of books, I would probably read that too. So anyway, this comes out on June 13th. Next up is The Drowning Woman by Robin Harding. Lee Gulliver never thought she'd find herself living on the streets. No one ever does. But when her restaurant fails and she falls deeper into debt, she leaves her old life behind with nothing but her clothes and her Toyota Corolla. In Seattle, she parks in a secluded spot by the beach to lay low and plan her next move. Until early one morning, she sees a sobbing woman throw herself into the ocean. Lee hauls the woman back to the surface, but instead of appreciation, she is met with fury. The drowning woman, Hazel, tells her that she wanted to die and she's trapped in a toxic, abusive marriage that she's a prisoner in her own home. Leah's thwarted her one chance to escape her life. Out of options, Hazel retreats to her gilded cage and Lee thinks she's seen the last of her until an unexpected return the next morning. Bonded by desperate but difficult circumstances, the women soon strike up a close and unlikely friendship. And then one day, Hazel makes a shocking request. She wants Lee to help her disappear. It'll be easy, Hazel assures her, but Lee soon learns that nothing is easy as it seems and that Hazel may not be the friend that Lee thought she was. I saw this, um, this has actually been on my radar for a little bit. This actually sounds really interesting to me. Uh, not exactly a beach read, but um, I don't know, thriller that's a little bit different, I feel like, than what I normally read. This is also coming out on June 13th. 
And the last book, which is also one of the two very, very most anticipated reads, an auto read for me anyway, is A Cozy Mystery. And this is Misfortune by Vivian Chen. This is number nine in the Noodle Shop series. They say fortune favors are bold, and Lana Lee is determined to prove that true. Lana, now officially the manager of her family's restaurant, the Holy Noodle House, is headed to sunny Irvine, California to attend a restaurant convention with her sister Anna Mae along for the ride. The girl's very Americanized Aunt Grace has asked them to stay in her posh rental, and as the trip begins, it seems to be just what they both needed. Even the restaurant convention proves to be worthwhile and entertaining, especially when Lana witnesses a dramatic cat fight between a fortune cookie vendor and a journalist. Lana and Anna Mae can't imagine things getting any better until they learn their aunt has yet another surprise in store for them, a swanky cocktail party hosted for the freelancers of Southern California. But on the night of the party, things go south when a close journalist friend of Grace's mysteriously plunges from the rooftop of the hotel. Even more suspicious is the fact that Aunt Grace's friend is the same journalist Lana saw getting into a screaming match with the fortune cookie vendor at their convention. The police rule the death a gruesome accident, but Aunt Grace refuses to accept that explanation and begs Lana for her help uncovering the truth. Lana, Anna Mae, and Aunt Grace attempt to keep up appearances as they search for answers, but unwanted attention from suspicious colleagues and convention attendees start to surface, causing Lana to wonder if they'll find the killer in time or if they'll be the next ones pushed over the edge. I absolutely love the Noodle Shop series. My friend Tiffany from the Beach Bum Bookworm is going to be interviewing Vivian Chen really soon. I'm super excited for that interview. I love the series and I love her. So, as well as Tiffany. And this will be coming out on June 27th. So that's it. Those are the most anticipated reads I have coming out in June. Let me know if you're planning to read any of these or what you're most looking forward to in June because I'm always on the lookout for new books. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.